During Wednesday's episode uh, of Errol and the Bad Guy on ESPN+, Plus, one of the topics that came up was Deontay Wilder's comments before his fight. And what Deontay Wilder said, and this is very dark, but what he had said was, I legally can kill this man. My hands are weapons. They're going to sanction it. And I can kill him and do it legally. And that's what I want to do. That is not verbatim, but guys, that's what he said. So this topic came up on the show. And the simple question was, is that fair game? Is all fair in love and war when it comes to hype and smack talk for a fight? Now, quite frank, no. The answer is no. But now the question is not only where is the line, but who gets to determine where that line is? This is where you have more of a philosophical conversation. Because if you were going to say that his license should be in jeopardy and that a commission is going to review those words, I think now you've got a problem. Commission is a state agency. You've, of course, got the First Amendment, right? You start, you start to get in some stuff that no, nobody wants to go. It's not fun. Sports are supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be entertainment, even a combat sport for rough and tumble. Guy, guys, we're supposed to have some fun here. So the answer is yes, absolutely, you can go too far. I did not like the way it sounded because I am a viewer and a fan and I'm going to purchase the fight and I will not view or purchase anything where I have a reasonable belief that somebody's life is going to go away. I'm not, absolutely not. Okay, that's for me. Now, what had surprised me in many ways is that Ariel had said, no, this is fair game. As a matter of fact, I saw him say it. I thought he performed it as a heel. I thought he performed the bit very well. And it made me want to see the fight even more. I got to tell you, I did not expect that response from Ariel, but I do want to give Ariel some credit there. Okay, that takes a courage to say. Most reporters who are going to come into this with any level of the high-handed approach are always going to look at something that's at all controversial or sensitive, and then they're going to be the hall monitor. They're going to be the boy scout, and they're going to be the prude in the room that takes everybody's fun away. That's what I expected Helwani to do. And he did just the opposite. He goes, man, he didn't mean it. I knew he didn't mean it when he said it. What do you think? I'm that naive? What do you think that I think Wilder wants to go out and end somebody's life? No, of course he didn't mean it. He's a showman. He was putting on a show and it worked with me. Made him a heel. Doesn't get any worse than that. I tuned in. Cool. I mean, that was a really fair, that's one guy's opinion. But I do think that Ariel showed a real courage in having that opinion and coming out and voicing it. The problem for me where I couldn't give him the same pass, and I want to give him a pass. I don't know Deontay Wilder. I only know him the same way that you guys have seen him in videos and stuff. He seems like a perfectly rough guy, but there was no part of my being that took him sincere. No part of my being thought, wow, he's disclosing something really horrific, and it's going to be legal, and uh, they're going to sanction, and he's going to get away with it. No, absolutely not. I saw a performer there. I noticed when he rattled off that rant, he did it seamlessly. I noticed he can barely say anything that's perfectly seamlessly, that is any kind of sophisticated thought. That's not a backhanded compliment to him. That just tells me he pocketed that. He practiced it in front of the mirror. He was trying to be the heel, and he succeeded. I'm just left with giving him a pass, and I want to give him a pass. I don't give him a pass. I want to, though. I really do want to. You know what stops me? is boxing does have a history and a number of people have died in the ring in boxing contests, a number of them. And a number of people have died in a coma after the fact from damages they took in boxing. That's a reality. I mean, it is a real combat sport. So even on a level of entertainment, if you tease or ingest, talk about death, for me as a viewer, it's going to make me a little uncomfortable. That's as far as I'm willing to go. I am not telling anyone to ban Deontay. I'm not telling anybody that Deontay owes an apology or anything. I'm not doing any of that. But if I am to answer the question, I will tell you, it did not sit well with me with the history of boxing. And I didn't think there was a need for it. I just didn't think, I thought it was unnecessary. I thought it was a good fight. I thought he's a well-known name. I thought it was a good press conference. I thought it went too far. I don't want to be in the guy in the room that starts moving the lines and gets to decide where free speech goes. That's, I'm out. I'm out other than to publicly share my personal opinion, which is, I thought it was unnecessary. 